Hey Earthlings, so here I am making another video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to come in and talk about how Nicki Minaj is on tour and everybody's mad because I guess she only collaborated with people they think are untalented. So yeah, Gag City stopped in Boston and I guess she had um, Bia, Malibu Mitch, Akbar V, JT, and... Katie got bands come in from um, their hometowns to come, you know, on tour and perform on stage and get exposed to a bigger audience because this is a worldwide tour and it's selling out the highest selling. Nobody's topping her ever. So, yeah, I'm going to pull up a few comments. I just want to clap back at them. You know, let's just let's get into it. Let's get into it. She said, and I quote, a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> so they're a bunch of nobodies. So, are your faves a bunch of nobodies, like, hence Cardi? Because, you know, once before, she was sucking Nicki and being all Nicki barb this, barb that. Cardi even dressed up as Nicki on Halloween. Like, are you guys cool? Like, huh? This who y'all think Nicki's supposed to be jealous of? A girl who dressed up as Nicki on Halloween? Or whenever this day was? Don't even get me started on one again. I'm in here with just house fee and now I'm leaving with thousands. You bitches do what I do and can get couch in your houses. I know that you see me grin and you see the money I make. On my pitch every day, while my dick out your face. <sighs> Let's walk over to Miss Diane. Yes! Oh, okay. I'm playing with Nicki Minaj like she ain't the motherfucking goat. Like she ain't that bitch. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Uh, thank you so bitch, much. Don't ever ask me shit. Don't ever question me. Tell him stop playing with Nicki Minaj like Megan said. <laughs> Can we be serious though? Your faves reached out to my fave. And asked for that feature. It wasn't the other way around. Nikki never said, let me go hop on Megan's song. Nikki never said, let me go hop on Cardi's song. They came to Nikki and asked for the feature. So, what is really the problem? Like, what is the problem with collaborating with other female rappers? Anyways, let's get into another comment. So it says, and I quote, next. And then the next one says, and I quote, the most overrated artist in history. That's your opinion. And I'm gonna let you have it. But... This is not a fact. Nikki is actually the most top selling, one of the top selling artists to date. Like what? I'm so confused. Go look at, go Google it. Go Google it. Her tour is the number one tour by a female rapper ever in history. Her her achievements, they're 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 so record breaking that you guys hate to acknowledge them, and it's sick. Acknowledge them because they're there. It's a fact. You can Google it. You you can definitely Google it. Nikki is not just a top female rapper. She's the, like one of the top artists out. Pop girls, anything. She's one of the top. What are you talking about? Next comment. She said, and I quote, it's a weak ass lineup, but carry on, mean girls. LOL. You got a little bit too much dip on your chip. Oh, brother. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, nah. you got too much dip on your chip. And anyways. So, you think that your lineup or your faves lineup is better? So, let me think who we got on 18 again. Cardi, Meg, Glorilla, um, Young Miami, Ruby Rose. Um, I'm trying to think who was the heavy hitter on their team. I mean, yeah, Megan can freestyle, but what else can she do? She doesn't have no substance behind the bars. All her music doesn't make sense. I don't understand. What can she do? Every person that ever says something about Megan Law or any bar that she wrote on there, they don't even they don't even know the song for real. I'm so confused. Let's not even talk about Cardi because she cannot even chart her sexiest chart and higher than her. She became the queen of begging for features. Like literally, I remember when she was in live um trying to clown nikki oh you're the one that hop on people's songs why would i hop on people's songs you beg everybody to hop on their song ice spice submitted it sexy red admitted it um um so many girls then came out and said that you begged to be on their feature flow millie um the point me two girl 
um glow stick cardi you reach out for features you do young miami better not speak because that that dog better stay down because she is untalented she's the definition of untalent ruby rose who is that glorilla okay i liked i liked it i liked it um f and f and i like the bless but any other song than that i really don't pay attention to glow i really just don't like it's not i don't pay attention to her I heard Yeah Glow go viral on social media, but me personally, I never paid attention to it, never listened to it, never went out my way to listen to it. Um, the new Wanna Be Me song, I still haven't listened to that either. And what's crazy is I feel like they really copied Sexy Red, but that's a video for a whole nother day, okay? Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention Lotto. Let's not mention Lotto because she sucks. Like, who is she? Forget, forget Lotto, okay? And then I'm going to just touch on this comment. She said, and I quote, every girl in here ride her. That's why she's showing love. But y'all not going to admit that. Don't add me either. It's my opinion. I want you to go back to the beginning of my video. Because what about your fave? What about your faves that's out here dressing up and calling Nicki the queen? Okay. I'm playing with Nicki Minaj like she ain't the motherfucking goat. Like she ain't that bitch. Oh my God, they love win again and they win again and they win again. And win again and what about them? Now I'm even with thousands. You bitches do what I do and can get couch in your houses. I know that you see me grinning, you see the money I make. Oh my. Was it a problem when they were sucking her dick? Was it? Since we highlighted the bad, I want to bring up some good comments that I did see a couple of barbs say, and I don't know if they're barbs or not, but people that respect Nikki say, and I want to touch on them too. This comment says, and I quote, Lap dogs, Megan, Glow, Lotto, Normani, Lizzo, Carisha, Saucy, Baby Tate, and I can keep going. Y'all calling them lap dogs because they respect Nikki, but Nikki isn't building and maintaining her career off these ladies like Cardi B. She does. She's always begging her friends for features. She's always begging her friends for features. Meanwhile, she's the one that said she doesn't beg for features. About you're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out? Flo Millie, SZA, um, Glorilla, um, all you ladies, um, point me to. Um, you tried to get on Ice Spice song and she declined you. You tried to get on a sexy song and she declined you. All you ladies come to the forefront though. Because she says she don't hop on remixes that's already out. Why is she hopping on remixes that's already out? I don't understand it. Man, I could treat you girls all day, but next comment. And I quote, I'm doing this for the girls who never thought they could win. I want y'all to realize, Nikki was the first female rapper to ever bring a female on a worldwide tour with her. Dage Love. She was the first one. Not a female rap. I mean, a female rapper. Excuse me. Not female. A female rapper. Hence, Dage Love. You guys act like this is new. Nikki been doing this. Nikki been collaborating with female rappers. Nikki's been doing this. She's the female rapper with the most female rapper collaborations. What? We gonna touch on the top comment first. She said, and I quote, Nikki, don't collaborate with female rappers. Y'all also said nobody is attending the tour. Said, why won't she bring TT? Now she did. Now they're all lap dogs. Now this is why people will come on y'all culture and make money off of you guys. Cardi B comes to the forefront. The next comment says, and I quote, I don't get why people are trying to call them lap dogs. They all female rappers and that's their idol. LOL, we all have someone we look up to and aspire to accomplish similar goals. I bet even the ones beefing with her probably bumping her EP in private. LOL, I hope I'm blessed to meet Stevie Wonder one day. He's always been an idol. Love his music. Well, you'll be meeting him in hell or heaven, wherever he is. I don't know if they were trying to be funny or whatnot, but the point is still there. If she do, she's damned. If she don't, she's damned. You guys are haters. Simple. But uh, Earthlings, I think we pretty much covered it all. You know, like Nikki is still the highest selling female rapper to date. Her tour is the highest selling for a female rapper ever. I mean, like, what's really going on? She brought on all these gorgeous women to share her platform, get them exposed to a very, very, very large stadium arena 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 sold out show brought them on a big 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 platform something cardi has yet to do for any of her faves i see why they're mad y'all have a great night evening morning whenever you're watching this and if you can like comment and subscribe and share if you can please 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 and thank you have a great day
be blessed and bye earthlings I'm in here with just house fee and now I'm leaving with thousands. You bitches do what I do and can get couch in your houses. I know that you see me grin and you see the money I make on my pitch every day while my dick got your fit.